Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to work with 3D objects in Spark AR. Let's go! Our first step is to click on Add Object and add a face tracker. Next, add a face mesh. Okay, perfect. Now, and let's add a material for this face mesh. Go to Material, click on Plus, click on this material and change it, change its shader type to flat. Perfect. Go to the description below and find a link uh, where you can download uh, a head occluder. I will show you what it, what it is. You will find a file uh, named headoccluder.obg. Just drag it and just place it on a face tracker. Okay, on a face tracker. Good. So you see, the head occluder is a big, big 3D head. Although your head is a 3D object in a real life. For a camera, your head is just a flat picture. But when we work with uh, 3D objects, we need our head to be a 3D object too. That's why we need to add this head occluder. Uh, open head occluder, click on default object and change it material to our material zero. And now go to material zero and change its opacity. Okay. Uh, now we can adjust the size of our head occluder so that it fits our head. Now first we need to hide our face mesh. We don't need it. Uh, okay. So go to head occluder over here and uh, you can change its position, scale and rotation. Uh, let's first change its scale. You, you, you might see now why I had changed the opacity because now I see my head and I see the head occluder. That's great. I think I need to make it a little bit smaller. Like this. And now let's add our 3D object. I have found a 3D helmet and you may find a lot of 3D objects uh, on the web like crowns, I don't know, some kind of helmets, hats almost everything and also you can create your own 3d object of 3d object if you are a master of you know blender or 3d max or something like like this program uh, here is the list of uh, supported file formats by spark kr when you when, when you find a 3d object on a web make sure that it has one of these file formats. My model is uh, has DAE format. That's okay. Okay, so I take this 3D, mm, 3D object and put it on head occluder. On head occluder, okay. And you see, although its size is too big, uh, it moves with my head and my, and that means that it moves with head occluder. Uh, you, might, you may see these three buttons over here. This one uh, helps you to move it, this one rotates, rotates it, and this one changes its size. Okay, let's change its size first. Now let's rotate it. Just click 
on one of these lines and rotate. Uh, now you might see why we need a head occluder. So we need to put our helmet on our head. But our head is a head occluder. So just put this helmet on a head occluder using these three buttons. And if you click on this one of these arrows, it will um, move the object just on this direction, like up, down, right, left. But if you click here, you might move it in any direction. Hey, quite good. Not perfect, but good. I just want you to understand how it works. Okay, and now our last step, we go to our material zero and change the capacity to zero. I don't want to see a head occluder. And what now? The helmet is on my head. I still can see this spots, but I, I don't want to fix it now. That's quite good and quite easy. What can you do besides that? Um, you can change the color of your 3D object. Uh, how to do it? Just go to the material which is connected with your 3D object. I have default material zero here. And click on color. For example, like this, or this, or this. I love red. Yay! That's great! Sometimes you might find really good models with some difficult textures and you also can change all this here in Spark AI. Thanks for watching! I hope this video was helpful. Don't forget to click on like and leave a comment below and subscribe! Yep, yeah, please subscribe! <laughs> See you guys!